one in every 2,500 to 5,000 births results in a Turner Syndrome female. 60% of Turner Syndrome females are missing an X chromosome and only have one. Others are mosaics, where some of their cells are missing an X chromosome, or perhaps some of their cells are missing part of an X chromosome, and a small percentage, perhaps 5%, are missing at least part of a Y chromosome so that some of their cells are XY while many simply have an X chromosome. It may be of interest to identify those who have part of a Y chromosome since they run a higher risk of a malignancy in their dysgenic gonad. Although the majority of Turner syndrome embryos undergo miscarriage, those which are born alive are normal in most respects and achieve normal levels of education and income, their reproductive systems often suffer some deficits, and many possess streak gonads which do not possess follicles. Those which possess follicles may undergo degeneration of these follicles shortly after puberty, so there may be an interest in harvesting these follicles early. And those which continue to ovulate, especially those who are mosaics, can have children, although there is a higher risk of miscarriage and chromosomal abnormalities than in the normal population. A female with three X chromosomes is observed about once in every thousand female births. These individuals can develop normally, although they may be a little taller than usual and may suffer some developmental delays. And these individuals are typically fertile. Once every 500 to 1,000 male births, there is an individual who possesses an extra chromosome and has a karyotype of XXY and has a syndrome known as Klinefelter syndrome. The extra X more commonly comes from the father, and this abnormal karyotype may be total in all of their cells, or they may be a mosaic with abnormal chromosomes in only some of their cells. The symptoms include a decreased production of testosterone, smaller testes, and some breast development. Now there is a range of features, and individuals who produce substantial androgen hormones may not notice that they have Klinefelter syndrome until they seek treatment for infertility. Many Klinefelter syndrome males produce no sperm at all and are infertile, although many can uh, conceive because they do produce sperm. Of those who do not produce sperm, about half still possess spermatogonia in their testes, and so fertility treatments can extract these spermatogonia and they can have children. An abnormal XYY karyotype, in which there are two Y chromosomes, is observed about once in every thousand male births. Affected individuals are typically taller than normal, may suffer some developmental delays, and may have some problems with fertility. Although fertility may be normal, there may be an increased frequency of chromosomal abnormalities in the offspring.